We know so little about our future. We know so little about the internet. The medicine is going to change. The law is going to change. There will be a new job disruption. Any kind of big change like this takes some time for the market to understand. How do we take this digital economy and make it for everyone? very exciting time that we're just on the cusp of right now. We're starting to understand quantum physics and technologies that are resident in our own bodies and develop technologies we haven't seen before. If we are not innovative enough, it will be very difficult to survive in this century. We need technology, we need development, we need those changes. Another word for innovation is disruption. Science and technology has really defined how human prosperity is advanced. That's of course created new problems for us. Our best innovations are not just used to make money, it's to make all our lives better. This meeting really has opened my eyes to some of those other voices, some of the other ways that the tools we're developing will impact beyond just the sphere that I work in. It looks at how different innovations come together. That's when you end up with these leaps in technologies, or these leaps in discoveries. Here is one of our data gloves. Today what we're doing is using these sensors to drive the robotic manipulator arm. It's the first robot that can access places and where no other robot can access. There's need for new regulations. The old regulations don't fit the new technologies. It's sort of a crossroads where we're now able to do a lot more than we were. So there's a lot of excitement and a little bit of fear on what that's going to bring. When you think of science disrupting society, it's really science engaging with society in ways that are beneficial. This is important because when you're talking about trillions of pixels of data, and by the way, the green circles are black holes forming. It gives me exposure to satellite companies, to genomics companies, both share what we're doing and our technology with them, sort of make them more aware of what's possible on the cutting edge. We designed the portal that everybody walks through, 100% made from trash. They're trying to use one installation to demonstrate the possibility of our upcycling. If you look at some of these large green areas... The things we've designed in the past are causing problems in the present. On the time lapse, we were able to look at 45 years of changes on the Earth's surface caused by humans. Virtual reality is not a storytelling medium usually. Most of the investment is in gaming. This is very good use of this technology. Everywhere you turn, you get a feeling of being part of the environment. To come here is to be among people who are curious, ready to design the world in a way that makes it better for everyone. It's a culture that honors the future.